transports like these over North Africa have carried all kinds of cargoes. Men, ammunition, tractors, jeeps. But when they landed one particular load into a chow line outside Algiers, you could have knocked the men over with a sweater. Direct from Hollywood came Carol Landis, Martha Ray, and Kay Francis. Mitzi Mayfair was on the sick list temporarily, but the others mixed with the men between performances to refresh their memories as to what they're fighting for. If the G.I.s look a little self-conscious, figure how you'd feel more than 3,000 miles from home, right alongside your favorite star and all holes barred. It was a great job these girls did, traveling by air in bad weather, braving enemy fire to give countless performances for men at the battlefronts, improvising routines when one or more would collapse under the strain, until finally, only Martha Ray was permitted by army doctors to continue the strenuous schedule. Safely back home in Hollywood, the girls were due for a rest, but they had other ideas. Three of them are cooking up new routines for their next USO tour, wherever it may take them, one or all. The guy dishing out the apparel for a rehearsal keeps his mind off his work by looking at back his shoes of Esquire. And here's a preview of what you may hear soon, wherever you are. These gals have a habit of dropping in unexpectedly. So keep that foxhole neat. Snafu, the greatest mystery in history. 